it was very interesting that uh, in many ways the when the editors were speaking they were kind of alluding to the problem in the media which is one of there's lots of exciting stories to tell uh, and so you report on that and then <coughs> part of the reporting is to get others to interpret um, what um, these exciting stories are about um, in many ways also not in a sense the media unless it's a attack on the media like the media tribunal or so on there's a very clear thesis and narrative around this attack and democracy and the role of the media and democracy you don't see the similar kinds of story around media the role of media and, and its relationship with the state or what the media's view is about the grand narrative about nation building or those kinds of things and certainly not around the political economy so I think that, the, that even in the media, there's a problem around what, what is their exact role. Uh, I'm not sure that that is even understood uh, in terms of media's role in broader society other than defending its own interest uh, by attacks from the state and so on. So I think there's a complete dislocation. So for instance, the economist or, and so on, very clear view on where their role is within society and what the, their grand narrative is and what they want to cover and where they think the global economy must go and what the world economy should look like. You don't see that in terms of the South African media and their place in the broader political economy. I'm talking about both state politics and, uh, and so on. And I think that's fundamentally the problem uh, that you see and you see how reportage is, is covered and so on. Uh, I happen to think that the old economists were, if you go back to the gold, good old days of political economy, <coughs> when you read John Stuart Mills or Adam Smith and so on. It is fascinating that the least thing they were bothered about is numbers actually. But what they were interested in is human relations, the context of human relations within political society and how that affects economy. And that's the big missing gap. I mean, Amartya Sen himself wrote about that. He said that the problem with economics today is that it's too mathematical. It loses the bigger picture and the moral story that needs to be defended or not defended, depending whether you're right or left, doesn't matter, because even right-wing people defend a certain moral position. And their moral position is around individualism and the rights of individuals and private property and so on. There's a moral story there. And I don't see why it's a problem for leftists also to defend collective uh, or egalitarian society, uh, because economics, if you, the view is that uh, if you take a moral view in the economy, any kind of vision is possible. So, in the many sense, there's a, economists themselves have reduced themselves to sort of really number crunches because they've also kind of say, th thought that talking about moral issues is kind of sacrilege. You can't talk about a political economy because that puts you somehow in a political spectrum. And you have a job really to define numbers and actually look at data and tell stories from data. There's a real serious crisis in economics around these things. And we should, you know, we should learn a lot from the old economists. Even John Stuart Mill, very surprisingly, had a view about uh, co uh, cooperatives. He had a view about uh, people who had no land rights. If you read the, the biography written by Richard Reeves about John Stuart Mill, very fascinating that he had, in the, the picture that he presents around economy and politics, he tells a story about the kind of society that can be created and the role of individuals within that. That's really missing uh, in much of the discourse that we have today. And I think this is what we're fighting about. It's about what the narrative is. It's not about these numbers and you know, the debates about inflation or uh, whether we view the state to be a developmentalist state and so on. And I believe the, the, the media has lost that plot in, in a way. And I, I think the economists and all of us who are sitting even in, uh, in areas where we're actually playing our little role in the technical sphere uh, in which we have kind of uh, defined our role in. Th and now the question I have is why has that been, why, why are we reduced to that uh, diminutive role uh, when there's actually, if you see the big, bigger, uh, older economists, the classical economists, even Ricardo and all of these people, they, ha they have a very strong narrative that defines and it's morally based. <coughs> 